Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 video. So I have not uploaded in quite a while, and you can see quite a bit's changed. Instead of gravel for the driveway, we finally got it paved with some concrete. Now this is a really big change for us, because now we have a garage to put all of our equipment in. Like, we're just going to leave the inside like this because it gets the job done. It's three bay garage. Pretty simple. Got lights in here too. Pretty nice. So, let me go ahead and close up the door here. Getting a nice time of year. It's almost Christmas. So, this is another big change. We sold our other Duramax for something a little bit bigger. This is a dually. This is a 05 Duramax. The other one was a 04. It's just got a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax under the hood here. Pretty standard. But this will have a little bit more power for some of the stuff that we'll probably do next year. And I like the blue too. So, this thing, it took so long to get it to run, but listen to this. It fires right up now. We just have to take it to the shop one day to wash it, but it's too cold today to wash it, so. But this is going to be nice. Now, I don't know if I'm going to sell this mower or keep it. I'll probably keep it. But, just have another mower. Because this one is built a whole lot better than this one. And this one's brand new. Anyways, let's hop in the new Duramax. And we're going to head to Tractor Supply and get some stable for the um, equipment at the shop. <laughs> It's also got some whips on the back of it, too. But I really like this truck. I'm going to miss the other one, but this one, for some of the stuff that we're going to do, it's going to come in a lot more handy. With that stronger axle. Now there might be just a little bit of lag because I've not played the game in quite a while, so my apologies on that. With some of these mods I have, I've had to tweak my graphics settings quite a bit because some of these mods really impact performance. Because, like, my FPS is set at 144. And the lowest I get sometimes is 50, which still isn't too bad because the videos are in 60. But anyways, we're just pulling up a tractor supply. It's right up here. This truck's a little bit different to me, where it's a little bit bigger. Like it handles about the same, it's just, you know, kind of odd. I'll just go ahead and leave the truck running out here, since it is kind of chilly today. But I'll go ahead and catch y'all after we go in and buy the stable. And we'll drop them back to the shop. Alright guys, so we're back out here after spending way too much money on a bottle or a couple bottles of stable. So now if some of y'all don't know what stable is, it's just oil I mean fuel stabilizer. 
like throughout the winter so you don't have to just drain all the gas out of the vehicle you just pour it in the tank and it keeps everything nice and nice and clean especially for the carbureted lawn And then after we do this and get back to the house, we have to go ahead and put some stuff in the garage. The brakes are a little bit better on this truck too. Let's see how this makes it over the bump at the shop. I really need to fix that. Go ahead and get the stuff out of the toolbox here. So first we're gonna go ahead and go um make sure everything's good on the skid steer. Because this is a diesel, so fuel stabilizer is not really gonna help. Correct me if I'm wrong. Just had to make sure the hoses and everything on that was good go ahead and put some in the pressure washer here there we go now we're just heading into the shop here first up we got to put some in the Honda there we go now the X mark there we go. And then the John Deere. Now we're gonna let the old F-250, we're gonna just start it up for a second. Cause it's not been started in a little while. I like this truck. I like the Triton just a little bit better than the Power Stroke. just a little bit go ahead and put some stable in this thing too there we go now we can just head back to the house now and just get the new garage organized thing let me check on the trailers really quick make sure nothing's chewed up the cables on me all right make sure the locks good on the front of that and hydraulics are good on the stump grinder too whenever you own a lot of expensive equipment like this you gotta make sure it kept kept up pretty good let the Duramax get started up here. This truck's in really good condition. It only has 70,000 miles on it. This truck I'm going to try and keep just a little bit longer than the other one. And if any of y'all remember the blue Chevy um, K10 that we were going to make into a mud truck, I had it in the shop for a while, and they um, took it off quite a ways to fix some other things that was wrong with it, and it messed up even more because whenever they were delivering it back here, because they were just going to bring it back to the house. They had an accident. The driver of the um, like rollback was fine, but the A10 was totaled, or C10, I mean. 
so I've been scouting marketplace quite a bit to try and see if I can find another just old beater truck I think I found one but I'm not telling y'all what it is in this video let's see we might as well go ahead and just back this truck up into the garage here Open up the doors here. Go ahead and get the old Ermax back in here. Don't want to break the tow mirror off. There we go. Now, it's time to just go ahead and get both the John Deere mowers and the trailer. We're just going to leave it out here. I'm so excited that we finally got this mower running. It doesn't have the biggest deck, but it's going to come in handy. go let's go ahead and get the x728 now if any of y'all want this mower because it is just a reskin I do have it on a mod network and mod hub those are the only two sites that I posted it in the comments want to name this new truck feel free i'm thinking of just old blue but feel free to leave any suggestions so that's all we really needed to do in this video the new garage is going to be nice finally don't have to worry about gravel washing out to the road when it rains I kind of miss it being the summer when we actually have to mow grass, but soon we'll have to start pushing snow. That's going to be fun because the old um, F-250, I have ordered a snow plow for it. It's supposed to be here in a couple more weeks, like maybe next week, but they said it could come earlier. So I hope you all guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, or just more videos in general, feel free to let me know. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.